Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Welcome to Floating in Dreams. Today we are going to be reorganizing this, the remainder of my makeup collection after a declutter. Let's get started. Welcome if you're new here, welcome if you're a returning visitor. My name is Maika. Thank you so very much for joining me today. If you don't know what this channel is all about, then um, I love chatting about makeup. <laughs> Eyeshadow palettes is my main jam. I love reviewing Essence and Catrice products. So whenever they have new collections out, then I tend to do videos on that. And I like to get you getting the use out of my makeup. And once a year, I always find myself with so many products that I need to declutter. And once I've decluttered everything, I want to reorganize it as well. So everything needs to now go back into the drawers, which are over there. So what I just want to do is do one of those like videos where I sort of speed you through with a bit of music in the background and show you how I reorganize everything. So that's what this video is going to be. I just thought I could come on camera in my makeupless face in my very chilled where is Waldo kind of sweater and a pair of sweatpants because it's a Saturday and <laughs> I really didn't want to feel like dressing up for this video today. So um, yeah, that's what I've got in store for you today. So let's get started with this makeup reorganization.
I've got two organized eyeshadow palette bins that I thought I could th talk you through this really, really quickly. I'm not sure you can see this one very well because it's a little further down. Let me see. I think that's better. Um, so this one is the fullest one because this is like my Urban Decay stuff and like my more like like coveted palettes you could say. The metal palettes I like to store flat um, because some of them came a bit cracked so I like to keep them flat so they don't break any further. I have found that if I keep them like this that some of the shadows start dropping down in the pan and that's just not what I want. So I like to keep those on top. So this is what we've got going on. I've put my Sigma over here, I'm not sure you can see that. And I have all my Urban Decay Naked palettes. And just because I wanted to have this palette in this drawer, I put the Tarte over here, um, because else it didn't really fit with the shapes. And then I have the rest of my Urban Decay like limited edition stuff right here towards the second half of the drawer. I don't reach for those a lot, so I don't necessarily need very easy access to them. And then this I always find very satisfying because I have a lot of palettes that are roughly the same size in this rectangular shape. So we're starting off with all of the Anastasia, then the Lorac, the Too Faced, and then we have all of my Zoevas, my uh, Adept, and then the Sydney Gray. So those are newer palettes to me and this now all fits lying down so I have an overview of everything that I've got going on, so that's lovely. Then I've got most of my indie palettes here in the back. I like having a separate section for that. And then this is all like the 12 pan, like smaller sized palettes. I just find this very satisfying how this like nicely um, is organized here. And then I have my Pat McGrath larger palettes, um, my uh, midi and larger Natasha Denona and my Huda Beauty large palettes here. I have my little melt stack here that fit nicely right there. And then I thought I could put these two down here um, because that fits really well. And then I can just put these two here. Uh, and then, you know, it's just, I can still reach everything very easily, but then I have everything in one place. So that's that. So I'm super happy with the second drawer and how that came out because I have space left. Like this entire corner, I don't have to fill up. And then I can put my small Viseart things here, put my larger Visearts over here. Uh, so then this is like my Pat McGrath and my Dior, Chanel, Charlotte Tilbury, Urban Decay Naked Mini 3. All of my color pops fit in here really nicely and I'm going to give this a rejig once I've reorganized all of those palettes. So then it's going to be a bit more curated as well, so I'm really happy with that. And then this is my, these two, these two didn't really fit in the back, so these are Pat McGrath and then I have the Nabla. Um, and my Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes here, and then this one again, the Sigil Inspired is a bit fragile, so I like to keep it flat. So the, the, if I don't mess around with it too much, um, that works better. And then over here, I have my Kaleidos palettes, but I actually think that if I do it like this, I can now fit these in here. So then I have the Kaleidos and the Juvia's Place in one spot. I think that will work. Ooh, I think maybe I can actually fit it in like this. That's even better. So I have all of my Juvia's Place pal palettes here. I can even do it like this if I want just a little bit more room. <coughs> I can do it like this, put the minis like that. And then I can put the Sahara in like this, because so, then I can flip through it a bit more like a book. So that's that's good. Liking that. So now I have all my drugstore things here. So I still have the two Essence ones that I'm not sure of what they're going to do. Those I still need to try. And then I think I can put this here. I can put that Desert Monsoon palette here if it will close. Ooh, that's a perfect fit. <laughs> that fits. And then I just have these baby color pop things left. So where to put that? And I, I can still push this backwards, by the way. There is still like a good couple of centimeters in the back here. Um, but I thought if I don't push it to the back all the way, then I can still more easily see what I've got going on here. See what I'll just do. Put the Kiko over here. And then use one of these organizers for these like baby color pop things. Okay. 
and the two essence palettes. And then if I move this one backwards to the back, like this, I think that works. Oh, and then by the way, I have uh, these are the book, uh, the Beauty Bay ones, and then I have the BH ones here, my Elf palette, my one Morphe thing, and then uh, the larger Essence and Catrice things are over here. Um, then I have my two Alien Cosmetics palettes over here. That's of course going to change because I've got two more on the way. Um, and I think I'm just going to keep this one um, in the back here. I think that can work. And then Game Beauty, Glam Shop, Unique Beauty, the mini Color Pops, the mini Essence palettes, and then I have my Dose of Colors, my Desert Monsoon from uh, What's Up Beauty, Zoeva, Sugar Pill, uh, Fenty, uh, Peach C, H and M, and then I have my small uh, Catrice ones, the small Color Pop one, and then I have my two Natasha Denonas right here as well. So that's it. Oh, and I've decided that I'm going to put the cremated palette in the same like I'm going to wreck these palettes kind of video because I don't think I want to keep as many shades from the other palettes. I'll probably want to keep most of these. So then maybe I can just take the shimmers out of that and I don't need to keep this around because I've never liked that it's got his face on it. But I do really like a lot of these like green tone topes that it has. So I definitely want to pull from this perhaps the most. Um, and then we're gonna go and organize the next drawer. That's what we're gonna do. So Welcome to my single shadow drawer, that's what I like to call it, and I took some things out of my wardrobe because I decided to put all of my perfumes in here. Um, I used to have perfumes in this drawer set as well before and it worked really well, but then I just came into many more perfumes and I had quite a bit of makeup and it no longer fit. But I decided last year that I was no longer going to store lipsticks in here because it, I just found myself not reaching for lipsticks. Uh, if I put them away in a drawer, so I need easy access to my lipsticks. Um, so those I want to keep somewhere close to my <laughs> uh, like everyday makeup drawer. Like I just need easy access because else it doesn't work. So that's gonna go on top of the vanity. Um, yeah, so that's why I decided to put my perfumes over in this corner, including samples, which and like smaller things. These things used to live 
always inside of my like everyday makeup drawer but now they can kind of go in here so I've got some travel sizes and I like longer things and I really liked how this worked out and then here in the back I have some like spare things so I have my travel brush set as well as my travel makeup bag that I use the most and there's a couple ones that I decided to just you know um, put in the back that I would like to keep I would like to keep these two as well um, this Dior one is really nice for brushes because it's really flat so it's great for brushes to take those with you and then I just have this pouch from Zoeva which is also great so I do want to put these somewhere but I don't know where yet because it no longer fits in here um, and then I have um, some like extra sponges here um, so that those are easy access if my sponges run out then I can just grab a new one and also here in this cubby in the back where I have my Lisa Eldridge velvet pouches um, that you can get if you buy three of her lipsticks I think um, so I have all the colors that are available, but below there, there are some extra brushes there as well, like double-ended things that I can't sit on top of my vanity. Uh, and then I have all of the palettes that are filled with singles in here. There are empty palettes right here in the back, I'm not sure if you can see that, but some of those are quite big and they can only be stored at the end of the drawer like that. Then I have all of my cream shadows here, my liquid shadows, my single pans, my eyebrow stuff my eyeliners, my uh, pigments and things like that, and then mascaras and primers are in here. And then we have lip balms because uh, those need to go somewhere and I don't reach for lip balm all the time. So those need a place to stay. Um, so we have uh, one more drawer left and lips. So let's move on to the top drawer. Right, so we have pretty much organized uh, this entire drawer. Um, I still need to like organize the foundations and the products I've pulled that are now right here at the top are the things that were in my shop, my stash, and I'm sure 
I had selected. So for the bronzers, that means it now fits perfectly because if I take one bronzer out, all the bronzers fit into this cubby again. The powders are right here, which again, I need to take one out because it's in my shop, my stash. I forgot to do that. Blush now fits here. I actually went into the declutter pile and pulled out this Kiko uh, blush because I do really like it. Even though it's so similar to other things, but I now have space for it, so I don't really mind. I've got a bit of room to grow, so I'm happy. Um, face palettes over here. My cream and liquid blushes are over here, and then I put the Colourpop stuff here. The larger Tar Charlotte Tilbury things have been living off the side ever since I got those, so those are fine. Cream and liquid bronzer over here. Cream and liquid highlighter, setting sprays, glowy primers, regular primers. Concealers are over here. Again, that's the concealer that was in my shop, my stash. Um, and then I have my highlighters here. And there again, I went into my declutter pile and I pulled two, the Annabelle Holo Lighter, um, because I actually looked at the swatches again in my highlighter collection and I was like, wait, but if I declutter all of my pinky, like white with a pink shift, uh, because I also got rid of Comet Catcher, then I don't have that anymore. So I want to keep that because that's older and I like it better. Uh, and then I have the Dior one as well because I couldn't get rid of this. This big Chile formula is just too pretty. Um, and I've had that for a while as well. So those I am going to, um, like this is going to go into the drawer in a minute. And then we still need to reorganize the foundations. And I thought that could be fun to do that with a speed through and then like the clicky noise. I know some people like that. I personally like it when that happens in a video. So uh, let me organize my foundations. Alright, so that's looking much better too, so I've got my uh, like my uh, drugstore foundations over on this side, my high-end stuff here, and then I put the stuff I want to try, they all happen to be in a squeezy tube type of th situation, so I put those lying down in the middle, because I thought that would be better, and these were the concealers that I said are unopened, so that I might want to be able to pass on to people as well. So that's why I pulled those, and I completely forgot to show you this in my declutter, but this highlighter palette from Catrice, from their Clean ID line, that was um, lumped together with my eyeshadow palette, so completely forgot to show you, but this is going as well. So this is a declutter.
So we've put back together the everyday makeup drawer. There is another blush in here, and I completely forgot which one it was, so I need to look it up, which one I had actually selected, uh, and add it here before I fill my next shop, my stash. And then the vanity, this is what it looks like right now. So um, I've put my lipsticks all up here. Uh, I used to have everything like uh, lined up, so actually this unit is big enough to fit my brushes, these two Lisa Eldridge lipstick holders, as well as these two lip gloss holders, like to like stack it higher. Um, but then I found that because I use this cloth to protect my desk, um, I wasn't going into these because they, I can't slide them over open if this is in front of it. Plus I was then laying uh, products in front of it as well. So that was always a bit of a mishap, I know. Um, so this I weigh, I hope that I'm actually going to reach for these things now and that it's easier to open them. And now it's also flatter so that when I'm filming and my camera is a little bit up high, uh, that you can't just like see everything you could say. So that's sort of the idea here. There's a couple of things hidden behind the light. Uh, these are things I still need to try. Uh, so I decided to not put those front and center because I just need to like keep them around for videos. But this way I think I can access it and it's all a little bit more clean and, well, hopefully easier to use. That's the aim. So thank you very much for watching today's video, everybody. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. Um, I am now going to be enjoying my reorganized makeup collection, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, I hope you would like to stay tuned for more content. I usually make three videos a week. I am thinking of possibly going to four, but I'm still sort of figuring this out as, uh, as we're trying things. So I'm going to try and see if I can make that happen in May, possibly. So, yeah, I hope you would like to stay tuned for more and that you come back to watch another one of my videos. I would love for that to happen. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Take care. I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.